Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, I thought this would be really cool and I normally see some that are all high-end makeup that are all one brand tutorials So I wanted to do a drugstore one and why not do wet and wild they are stepping up their game so much Recently, I got a ton of new products that I've been loving so far and since I did another makeup addict Shopping spree on wet and wild <laughs> recently. I just got those products and I've been trying them and I love them So I thought I should be doing a wet and wild one brand tutorial for you guys and most of these products I already had I just had to go out and buy like a primer that I haven't tried before and a mascara that I haven't tried which um, I really love those two products that I just purchased and a uh, Like contouring and highlighting palette that I didn't have I think those were the only three products that I didn't already have from uh, wet and wild and I really do love them. They came out great. I don't have a problem with them. So I did this natural look. I didn't want to do something so crazy. I wanted to see you guys could recreate and wear this on a daily. I would definitely wear this on a daily. I don't know about you, but I definitely would. It's super simple, easy. So enough talking. Let's get right into the video. So I do have two items and they're the items that I use to prep my skin that won't be wet and wild. And it is just my Eucerin Daily Moisturizer and then my Mario Badescu to hydrate my face. I always have to use these products so that is the only thing that I'm using that won't be wet and wild because everything else I have. So some of these items I have tried out and some of the items from Wet n Wild I had to go out because I didn't have them. So this is one thing that I didn't have and it is the Wet n Wild Primer. So it says it refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, even skin tone. It feels very, very smooth. I don't have a problem with it. I like that it is not like silicone-y. It actually feels really good on the skin. And I did kind of like mattify my face. Let's see if it actually like fills in my pores once I put my foundation. And I mentioned this foundation that I got from Wet n Wild a few like hauls back. This was his soft beige and it's the Photo Focus um, foundation. And I didn't do a review on this but I seriously love this foundation. Then with my Real Techniques sponge. I am noticing that that primer did fill in my pores and you do not see a pore in my face. I get really big pores around here and on my forehead and they are really filled in. I've been wanting to try it, I just haven't been able to find it because it's always sold out. So Wet n Wild has this concealer, it's kind of like a concealing pen, it's a highlighting and concealing pen. What I just said. Um, this is in the color Ivory Into You and I have really enjoyed this concealer before this video. I've used it before. I haven't been able to pick it up because again this thing is always sold out and before they used to not carry it at other places. I think I actually got this one on Wet n Wild Online. I really love this concealer. It's lightweight but it covers really well. Now to set my under eye. I'm going to use the contouring and highlighting palette from Wet n Wild as well and this is in the Dulce de Leche shade. I have not tried this yet. They don't really have like a setting powder or anything, at least not in the stores. I haven't checked online for that. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to use this right here. So I like how that highlighted and set my concealer. I get really picky when it comes to um, powders underneath my eye because sometimes I can get sometimes most of the times I get really dry So I have to be careful on how much powder I put underneath my eyes So to set my whole face this is their new photo focus pressed powder and this is in the color warm beige I know a lot of people don't like to set their foundation, but I have to so now I'm going to go back into the highlighting and contour and use the contour shade to carve those cheekbones and this has to stand up to my hula bronzer because that is my ride or die one so it's very pigmented I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented very nice it goes in very smooth and a little goes a long way so I'm gonna do my brows before I finish my face and I've actually been using this wet and wild color icon brow pencil and this is in the color brunette and I'm really into pencils right now I've actually used this one from Ulta for a while and I really enjoyed it. I'm waiting for my ColourPop order to come in and they I ordered two of the brow pencils. So I'm going to kind of like fast forward on this part because I know I really do like this product. I've used it multiple times. 
So now that my brows are on, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. That's the name of it. And I actually have used this multiple times. Um, I really love this shade right here. It kind of gives um iridescent feel to it, kind of like purple teal. It's really pretty. But I'm going to keep this kind of natural. <laughs> What's the surprise? And I'm going to set my lid with this color right here. And I'm using a Wet n Wild brush. Um, I really love their brushes as well. Um, I've never had a problem with them. They're really pretty. And they're pink. Like, I have them in a separate container because they're so cute. Now, this color that I'm actually using is not super matte, like a base that I normally use. So I'm kind of going more into the inner corner to brighten it up. And I'm also going to put this in my brow bone. This actually is a brown bone shade. What I like about it, they give you the names of where it's supposed to go. But I mean, who follows those? Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And this is supposed to be the eyelid shade, but I'm going to um, blend this into my crease. So I'm going to use a Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. It says it's for your crease, but I'm going to put this as well in my crease, but um, more on my lid. Kind of like bring it down, kind of like that inner corner, but I will be blending this out. And I'm going to use a blending brush from Wet n Wild. I want to do kind of like a wearable look. I don't want to do a look that... You can't really wear on your daily basis like this is what if I was getting ready for school or like for just daytime look I would wear this so I'm gonna go back in with that brow bone shade that I used in the beginning and just highlight that inner corner a little bit more and of course I need to smoke out my lower lash line so I'm gonna go in with that crease shade and smoke it out Now I'm going to go in with another little Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to go in with that definer shade. I'm going to smoke out that um, lash line on top and this will kind of be my eyeliner. So I picked up this ombre blush and this is the Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. I love their names, they're so cute. I don't know if you can tell that it's ombre, a little bit, but yes it is ombre. It's kind of like a peach to a champagne shade so I'm gonna just mix it all in there and you know I'm not a huge fan about blush but this one is so subtle it's really pretty and I love that glow that it gives and they also came out with new highlighting powders and this is in the shade precious petals I also got the one in crown my canopy so this is crown my canopy and this one is precious petals so Crown My Canopy is a little bit more bronze and pink shade, like pink tone, and this one is more of a champagne shade. So I'm going to go with Precious Petals because it will match my skin tone better, and I really have been using these the past couple days, and I love them. How can you go wrong with a drugstore highlight? I mean, you can, but Wet n Wild did a good job. And I didn't have a mascara from Wet n Wild. I've never tried one, so I'm going to give this one a try. This is their Max Volume Mascara. So I'm just going to give this one a try. And it's so cute. It's like pink. This kind of reminds me of the CoverGirl um, Orange Mascara. I don't know the name of it. I just know it's orange. So let's see if this compares to my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. Because that one is my freaking favorite right now. It's not too thick, and it actually separates all my lashes. I really like this for my lower lashes. It really volumizes them. I think it did pretty good. I still like my Maybelline Big Shot, but maybe if I do a second coat. So I'm going to put a second coat of mascara, since I'm not wearing falsies. Way better. I really like this mascara. Wow. I'm very shocked how much I liked it. So Wet n Wild came out with a new combination of liquid lipsticks. And the shades that I got is Rebel Rose, which is this one. Nudie Patootie, which is a super nude. And then Give Me Mocha, which is kind of like a dark mauve. So I'm going to go in with Rebel Rose today. And I just picked up this uh, gel lip liner from Wet n Wild as well. And this is in the color Bare to Comment. I think they'll go very well together. It's very creamy. I like this lip liner. Like you can normally wear this by itself. I think it's so pigmented. 
And now I'm going to go in with Rebel Rose. And I have been wearing this. This is not the first time I, I wear these. I really love them. I need to pick up some more. So now to finish off this look, I'm going to set my makeup with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So this completes the look, the one brand tutorial. I kept it simple. I wanted just a wearable look and just so that you look bright and fresh and all drugstore makeup. Who doesn't love that? So if you guys want to see more one brand tutorials, please let me know down below in the comments. And also give me some suggestions on what you'd like to see next. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.